Notice that the perforating artery, as it enters into the bone, joins these arteries which are going up and down the length of the shaft. And these arteries are within a central space of a structure called an osteon. Because these arteries are centrally located inside this structure, the osteon, these arteries are going to be referred to as central arteries. And they're going through what is called the central canal. As we go further inside the bone, notice that there is a difference in the way the lamellae are oriented here compared to the circumferential lamellae. What happens is that osteons, structure, cylindrical structures called osteons, are formed. If we look over here, we can see an example of an osteon. The osteon is organized around a central canal, which you see right over here. In the central canal, you would find the central artery that we looked at a little while ago. The osteon, as it forms, forms as the result of layers of bone being laid down in a concentric manner, so that first these outer layers are going to be formed, and then as new bone forms, layers are added on the inside of the first layer, and then another layer is added onto the inside of that layer, and so forth, so that you end up with a number of layers arranged in this kind of bullseye organization. These layers, they're referred to as concentric lamellae. This osteon has the osteocytes highlighted for us. So again, you can see the osteocytes present between the lamellae. You can also see how the osteocytes have processes which extend through these tiny channels in the lamellae, which are referred to as the canaliculi. If we move to a side view of the osteon, you can see that the osteon is a cylindrical structure. We're looking along the length of the cylinder right now. And again, here you can see osteocytes between the lamellae. Notice here that we have a number of osteons side by side, each with their central artery. So you can see one here and here and here and here and here, the central arteries. And again, notice that we have the perforating artery, which is also known as Volkmann's artery, going through a canal, which is called Volkmann's canal, also the perforating canal. And the lamellae here are pulled out in a way that allows you to see osteocytes, which are over here. Over here, what is shown is the fibers that you find within the lamellae and how they're oriented in this overlapping pattern. 